All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, business networking refers to the practice of building and maintaining professional relationships with other individuals and organizations in a business context. Now, the goal of business networking is to create a network of contacts that can be leveraged for mutual benefits, such as generating new business leads, exploring new career opportunities, or gaining access to industry insight and expertise. Now, business networking can take many forms, including attending industry conferences and events, participating in online forums and social media groups, joining professional associations, and connecting with colleagues and peers through international channel. So tonight we're asking how can we leverage networks to grow our business. Now, please, let's hear what you have to say quickly. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 81 So, ladies, quickly, do you th how do you leverage network? I want to bring in our guests. How do I leverage network? Mm -hmm. um, I think what I do is purely based on networking. So, um, I work through a referral system and uh, always put myself out there to meet more people. Um, that are going to be beneficial to what I'm your doing. business. Yes, you know. So um, I mean, they always say your network is equal to your net worth, and I totally believe in that. So meeting people is one thing. Another thing I'm learning is also building the relationship. So you can have a lot of people that are beneficial to you, but are you able to mine those relationships to, you know, solve your problems? Mm. Yeah. How about you, NJ? Quickly. Well. Um, you meet so for me it's more as personal and business so personal could be social so that's more social within my social circle and uh, that would include the fact that i play tennis and all that so a few of those you meet a lot of people because that's where you actually meet a lot of business associates and stuff and that's where some one of the places where you can have that kind of conversation and i've learned that a lot of things are closed in Less I'm professional you, my sister. environment. I so, want to begin the go club now because no. the blessing is there that the things are happening. Um, oh, I don't wow. think that's what I meant. But <laughs> that, that's what you meant. No, no. I meant what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> so, <that's it. laughs> so yeah, so you yeah. you do that. So you meet people on different levels. Sometimes it's like you said in the club, in private parties, in you know social gatherings, some business gatherings, some you know in between. So it's always very important for you to meet people, tell them about yourself, what you do, you know. But that takes another level of internal, hmm. you know, dealings. Let me bring in our guest now. <laughs> Bola is a convener of Premier Business Network, a community with over 600 members who are founders of successful businesses, senior management, um, experienced professionals, and investment, or rather investors, building a strong network. He is the co-founder and the chief. Chief Executive Officer of ScholarX, a social impact ed tech company that helps African youth access quality, formal, and informal education. One of ScholarX um, products is a learning app called Lenam. Now, Lenam is an audio-visual platform that provides digital, vocational, and personal improvement skills content in localized languages. Bola is passionate about connecting people and human capital development, and this is being expressed through his work at PBN and Scholar X. And we're very honored to have him live with us in studio. Thank you for joining us. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> Thank you for having me. So, I mean, I saw you nodding as we were just talking. You were just nodding our head. <laughs> Don't mind me. We are very playful here. But hey, we talk serious things, but in a very funny way. All right. So, I, I, I like the idea of networking. But okay. I think the problem I, I've always had is, I think a lot of people, help me out here. A lot of people have abused that word networking. And it's just so, at some point, it's so irritating to the point that literally, if I go somewhere, except the person that invited me, introduce, introduces me to people, you will not find me just talking to people directly. I just walk past and quiet. Because like, I feel like I collect business cards and then what? I say hello and you know, talk and then what? Because literally, the conversations really don't progress. Mm -hmm. And like what NJ said, a lot of times, those conversations or those closing, those deals you are about to close, they actually happen in very, very informal sectors, maybe a friend's party or something, right? So why do we still have people organize um, events that has to do with very targeted at networking? Why do we have that? <laughs> Thank you very much for having me. Yeah, it's a, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure to be here, um, enjoying the conversation. I can just sit here and just watch you guys <laughs> speak all day. 
Um, so key buzzwords that are used throughout the night to ha has to do with being deliberate, value, exchange. And um, the reason why I'll start with value exchange is that I believe in giving and taking. First and first, um, one of the things why in networking, the ones that really work are the ones based off of relationship. No matter where you uh, meet, if the first, if the priority is let me get to know this person, let's build a relationship, let's get cordial, and then what value can we extract? What can I give? And what can I take from the person without being exploitative? You will find that those kinds of uh, relationships are more productive. That's why you see the network, like for example, you say you play tennis at uh, Equi Club, you're already somewhere. Like, okay, at least you got vetted, you can afford the club, there's some there's a base, and then maybe you meet often, you get to, uh, you tend to see the person. See, in those kinds of settings, it's a little bit easier because whether you know it or not, the relationship is being formed already. And so like us in PBN, once you join in Premier Business Network, once you join the network, it's that, okay, ah, you're part of here, this network, if I want to change it, I can change it with you. And from there, oh, what do you do? Ah, what do you do? What do you do? And you start talking, ah, oh, I have this farmer, but I don't really have funding to be able to, oh, funding, ah, I know this guy that can fund, he's even in the group. And then before you know it, folks, people have started doing business together. And the next thing, oh, ah, what are you, are you free next week? My daughter is having uh, her birthday, if you want to come over. So I found that relationship, um, networking that is built on relationships, whether it's new or pre-existing relationships work better. Um, so I get your point because there's a lot of, you got all this, I, I don't even want, I don't have business cards. <laughs> I um, don't. I, and then when I go to events, I never write. I just listen. Whatever I can capture at that moment is more valuable to me. Mm -hmm. And if I meet people, I say, hey, how, how are you doing? What do you do? We can strike off something. But it's never uh, me trying to scheme to see what this person does and what can I get from them. In fact, best practice for me is always lead with what you can do or what you can offer first. Mm -hmm. And then once you offer, because I, I, I also understand when in an environment where people use people, yeah. right? So everyone is also apprehensive. <laughs> and, and what makes me laugh, particularly in Nigeria, obviously, um, I grew up in Lagos, but I went to school abroad. And the environment there is a little bit different here. Mm -hmm. Everybody's close, everybody wants to guard everything, but whatever you are guarding is not going to expand, it's just going to stay where it is. So I always kind of laugh when people are guarded with information, are guarded. Don't you know that the more you share and the more you expand your horizon and you network and you meet new people, the more you can do. One of the things that used to be funny for me when we created PBN initially, there are a lot of people that had businesses, that had, um, whether they're executives or they started businesses, and I used to have to beg, keyword, beg them to share on the group what they did or what product they were selling. I, I, I almost lost my mind. <laughs> like, oh yeah, I was supposed to steal my idea. Or, you know, I don't want to seem forward and make, make it be about myself, but you're selling something. Express it, share it. And from there, now, we, we started something called Sell on Monday. And so every Monday, and the, the, the whole thing about that was, what's the best thing if you're an entrepreneur, if you're a business leader, you spend the whole weekend, there's that email you've sent, you're waiting for approval, you're waiting for something, you spend the whole weekend thinking about it. <laughs> there's nothing better than selling on Monday. So we coined that. And what that does is it, engage, it helps people engage, it helps people network, it helps people sell. So it goes back to my thing about being deliberate. I get you about being apprehensive, but if it's all based off of a common theme for us, um, for example, you go somewhere where everybody's a broadcaster, you know, you mm -hmm. kind of feel like you have something in common, and then you strike up a conversation, and then you see, ah, okay, this person seems cool. Maybe you don't go forward and say, hey, I have this proposal, can I bring it to you? Mm -hmm. Hey, let's have a drink. You know, build a relationship because I, it just to me it works more when the base is a relationship mm -hmm. and value is clear. Uh, a lot of times people just network for networking sake. Like I won't ask for a business card just because, but if I strike a conversation and I find the person interesting, hey, let's exchange. But some people just go and collect, 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 and 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 then nothing happens after that. <laughs> so 
intentions, being deliberate, uh, and lead, lead with what you can offer, because value is key. If, why, why should I network when I don't think any value is going to come out of it? It's not me being selfish, but, but just think about your time, uh, the things you think, things you, uh, think are precious to you. Why would you just invest that in nothing that you don't think value can come out of it? Yeah. I actually like the buzzwords. I saw relationship there, intentionality, you know, value, you know, which are very, very key. And it's interesting because I just want to quickly give a background. Um, Alero invited me to your events on Friday and Saturday last week. It was amazing. And I, and I thought for a maiden event, you know, for me, it, it kind of like um, cements what you've just said. Because, again, if you look at the people that filled up those halls, they were all like a family. You know, a lot of relationship had been built with that. So I think that's the, that's the missing link for networking. Because a lot of times... I don't know you. You just come and meet me and say, give me your number. Give me your number and say, what thing happened? You know, like, people don't understand that there is a psychology to connecting with people. And it is only when you're able to strike that connection, then it can now translate into something afterwards. I mean, Alera was, saw me saying hello to someone, and she said, oh, please meet this person. Immediately I saw the person. I'd heard about that person a long time ago. Now, as we're talking to you, now we've done first meeting for the thing that he's been looking for for a year. But you see, it is because there is a relationship. That's why that connection would have happened. So I, I, I get you 100%. But you know what? Let's quickly run off on a very short break. When we come back, now, hear from Mary and um, NJ. Stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, thanks for staying with us. Now, if you just tuned in, we're discussing leveraging um, networks to grow your business. And we have with us Bola Lawal, please. Let's hear what you have to say. Remember, you can join the conversation. Send us an SMS or WhatsApp to 3 803 You can also tweet at us at Weisho, Africa, one with hashtag Weisho. Mary, let me come to you. Okay, um, I think I'm in sales and I've seen the value of networking. However, yeah. Um, I think relationship building is where the work comes in. So it's enough to exchange contact details and, you know, start talking to the person. But I realize that you have to actually do background checks on, okay, who is this person? What's this person into? You know, how can I get something out of this person? I'm selling. So for me, the first point is always, Okay, how can I sell to this person? It's not about how can I, your own first point call is how much does this person have for the tea you are yes. selling is not cheap. Okay, well, yes. <laughs> yes, because so that beauty yeah. why I'm networking. Mm. We, there's something we call um, you size up, I size up the people I'm going to meet. So um, your watch, your shoe, your clothes are going to tell me, okay, this is where this person's head is at. And I reach out, I you know, speak to the person, but oftentimes I realize that. Is, is not even enough to just... People actually... So, how do I put it? I have people that I've met. And, yes, we talk. But I keep hearing something that, oh, well, you don't market to me. That's, and that's because I've probably gotten too comfortable because I'm, I'm trying not to be all up in your face of I'm selling something. So I'm trying to build a relationship. But I'm realizing that, okay, the fact that they're HNIs, they actually still want you to do the presentation to them. They want you to ask them for the yeah, referrals. So they want you to, you know, you go that, that extra mile. And, and I'm, I also <laughs> want to ask, like, okay, so what metrics can I, you know, or indicators can I say, okay, this has been evaluable? Like, how do I mark my progress well, in terms of... Well, for you, obviously, you need to sell. So the numbers... Are your metrics? How much did you sell? How much did you make? But he, hear me out for, for a second, because I heard, I, heard, I heard you about sizing people up. But sometimes the very wealthy folks that I know that, low that, that are extremely low key. Yeah. Like you will ride a regular Honda, but a CEO of a billion dollar company. And it, it goes back to the relationship, right? If you get to know someone, if you have a conversation, and if you're deliberate, because a lot of times, there's something we call on, in our community called ask. Hashtag ask every day. Oh, I need to get connected with this person. I need to connect to that person. Oh, I have this stuff I'm selling. I need to, hey, I need to make these numbers. I need to connect. Um, sometimes, as, as, depending on how much of a relationship you've built, is as 
straight up as, uh, remember this, this is what I do. If you know anyone, sometimes you may want to sell to her. Yeah. But instead of saying, I want to sell to you, yeah. tell her that if you know anyone that wants to buy this, mm. well, I can come. I can like come. a third party yeah. ass. Yeah. <laughs> If you, yeah. Oh, ah, what, what is? Let me see now. And then you, you, because sometimes I get about relationships, the people around you, I've seen you finish. Mm, so true. they don't even. Yeah. And you sometimes yeah. too. It's mental. You might be like, but you never know. The, that person might want what you are selling. Now uh, I just want to add that we're in an environment where everything is expensive. Things are hard. The, the worst thing you want to do to yourself is being in, a, in an environment, in a community, and not start from within first. It's easy. You're not spending any money. It's, 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 <laughs> you, it's easier. It's easier to, like, for example, in our community, if I have, I mean, we even have a sub-community called Thrift Shop. If you want to sell your car, you can sell it there. If you want to sell anything... A car, used things. clothes, mm -hmm. used, you can sell that easily. Mm -hmm. And the reason why it's even better for folks is that, one, they're trusted because they're already in the community. Yeah. Two, maybe you feel like people have money, so if you can share it there first. But if you start from within, mm -hmm. it also gives you practice. That, okay, mm -hmm. I, I have more practice with selling with people around me, I'm connected with them. And then, because what you said about referrals, Referrals are incredibly great. Yeah. Uh, and, and it's even better when the referral comes from people within. within. Um, like the example earlier, you know, hey, uh, introductions are also key. That's why I like using the, if you know anybody. I'm selling to you and that the prospective person, person yeah, that yes. you're trying to bring to me. And I'm unapologetic about selling, um, which is a derivative of networking. Um, you... you if you're in business, uh, I think anybody that leads a business is the chief salesperson of that business. Mm -hmm. if, if you own a business, run a business, entrepreneur, founder, businessman, whatever you want to call yourself, and you're not selling, it means that then you, exp you give all these KPIs, all these big role. People are like, oh, God, how much did you sell? So I, I think um, you leverage the people around you. You can be deliberate. You can be direct. You can, and you can be, just be honest and say, like, hey, I really need help. But, but I think a lot of times we get comfortable with people around us and we tend not to shy away. But I, 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 I struggle with it. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I used to beg people, please post. Like, I'll be like, I, I was like threatening them. I said, if I find stuff on LinkedIn that you post that, because people are more comfortable posting outside mm -hmm. because it's not that close. Yeah. And you know, I, I don't want, no. You have to start from within. You convert better from within than outside. You spend less money. You make more money. And the people that you convert, convert internally are even the people that will help you get your next set of customers. Mm. What's, what are the chances that an h and uh, there's another h and Extremely nice. high. Yeah. <laughs> extremely yeah. high. And they're going to be around each other. And sometimes it may not even be deliberate. Ah, I like this thing there. I will sell it to you and then they call you. Mm -hmm. Hey, my friend is interested. Mm -hmm. This thing you just said, I have a friend in my, that she does interiors. Almost all her clients are in friend. Banana Island. Mm -hmm. She said, well, I don't need to. In fact, they don't even allow her to post on Instagram or anything. Because the truth is, once one person comes to the house, that's why her own uh, focus is to make sure that she delivers excellently well. As soon as somebody is stepping into the house, ah, who did this for you? They say, oh... It's um, so, 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 so. Ah, okay, please. So most, as she's finishing a project, she's not even yeah, done. Know. She's already getting referrals. So I think that's even the quickest way, you know, to deal with h &Is, right? It's just... Service know, delivery yes, has to be on It has to point. be top-notch. Yeah, Angie, let me come to you. Okay, so for me, I would like to ask... So she's in sales. I'm in business development and sales. So very similar um, background. But um, so for me, like I said earlier... Networking is personal and is professional. But where I would like to go to is the strategic part of it. Now, that can be a bit of a, an issue because there's almost no line mm -hmm. between the personal and the professional. Mm -hmm. So you, you have to, there, you, there's a different, there's almost a different mindset you have to use to, I like where you're going. to, to tackle that. And you know, when you get, like, like we rightfully saw, 
for the personal, it gets too personal sometimes. And for the professional, you've already drawn the line. So you kind of keep it that way. So how can you, what are some of the tips that can help with effective networking within that strategic, you know, lane where you don't want to, you know, you understand, you don't want to make it too personal. You don't want, you want to be able to use it as it comes, depending mm -hmm. per case. Mm -hmm. So how do you do that? What are some of the tips that, you know, we can, we can learn? So again, it goes back to relationships, but I, I, I'll first say some basic things I think people know or should know about setting standards. Setting standards and sticking to your standards. Mm -hmm. Because scenario, an HNI wants you to come to a guest house. Is it my standard? But he's going to spend twenty thousand dollars with me. Mm -hmm. So, so if you keep your standard, and say my standards. I don't do such. Can we meet a, a, at a restaurant? And if they say no, and you're okay with losing that, because what I think mostly about standards is that it's more of a long term approach. Net mm -hmm. net, on the, in the long term, you're better for for it sticking to a standard. I'm not saying that going to meet an H and I in a hotel is no. It has to do with your own standard. If that's your standard, yes, go ahead. If it's not, stick to it. The minute you start um, flip flopping just because of an opportunity, what you will find is that you open yourself for all kinds, all sort of things because you don't have a set set standard, mm -hmm. and then you get to start networking all sorts of people, whether you need them or you don't need them, mm. or all sorts of propositions are coming to you. And I understand particularly, too, in networking, is, is also critical for women hmm. because it's, it's a whole new ball game. You meet someone, <laughs> you think you're doing business, next thing they're giving you... Ah. A, 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 yeah. They're giving you... We're uh, coming there. <laughs> <laughs> they're giving you a room key to go ah. and meet somewhere. So I understand the peculiarity of it, which is why it's also good to belong to groups and communities. For example, um, in our community, we have subgroups. We have 40 of them, 40 something of them. Wow, that's one, a lot. I mean, all of the groups except one, the women's group. We have a women's group, only women. They talk about business and anything else. Guy they're talking to, guy they're interested in, their kids, their family. We have a parenting group as well. And the reason why we do all those things that are not even necessarily business is that the relationship. So people may have interacted in a parenting group. Oh, what, what kind of food does your toddler eat? Oh, kids don't sleep. From that conversation, oh, what do you even do, Seth? And then people start talking. Oh, really? Ah, are you freaking? You come to my office. And so the reason if you were at the conference and you saw how the members were interacting very, with each other, very... you, you think that we are family. Mm -hmm. It's not just because we talk about business all the time. It's that people have lives. So um, a regular person on the street that you may not know versus a CEO of a $100 million company, also talking about parenting. You're like, ah, we have the same problems. Mm -hmm. We have the same issues. We've worked the same path. So um, being part of groups and, and organizations also pro help protect people in, in networking. Because mm -hmm. I don't expect someone to just uh, come at you with crazy stuff. They will at least first think about the, uh, the, the, the community and the and reputation. Yeah. But, but I, it's, it's cool to have these conversations and assume that everything is a broad brush. But we also also understand what women, peculiar, particularly women, go the through. The peculiar challenges. For women mm. in networking. Mm. Because, yeah. again, you don't know if it's business. You, you can't personal. tell most Sometimes times. you cannot tell. So do you see why? Just, like, just like you said it. Yeah. Just like you said it. <laughs> but I was going to say that. So let's come back to you, Bola Lawal. Mm -hmm. Because I was quite intrigued. I mean, when I was in the hall at the, the Federal Palace, Balmora Hall, when you guys had that event, I mean, so many people, I think it was over a thousand people that attended that event. Everybody kept on saying, Bola Lawal, Bola Lawal. <laughs> somebody said he's the, was that something, Tiger or something? Like, you know, they were calling you so many powerful names. I said, okay, I, I really need to meet <laughs> this guy because Alera has been on my neck. Oh, well, you have to come to PBA. PBA, I said, I did come, <laughs> you know? And, you know, when I went there, it was interesting to then hear from people because again sometimes we they see our people finish. Maybe yep. I don't see a letter of finish. Mm -hmm. I can't I can't believe what she's saying to me. Yep. But now hearing your name, you know, come out of the mouth of a lot of people, how you've impacted their businesses, how you've transformed their businesses, how you connected to them to their next level. It was quite impressive. And I like people because maybe because I'm a person of impact. Mm -hmm. I like when I meet someone and 
I'm not leaving you the way I met you. I should be able to at least add some level of value to your life. And that's why I loved your buzzwords, value, and all of that. So tell me, first of all, what were you thinking when you decided that you wanted to grow a community, right, that would give a platform to different people to build their, their, their net worth and their networks and, you know, grow their business? What were you thinking? What was in your mind? Before I even go, <laughs> so there's this book called, uh, I, did, I just read the book uh, a few months ago. It's called Never Eat Alone. I can't remember the name of the author, author but if you go, it's an orange cover, Never Eat Alone. I, I think people should read that book. Um, so, first of all, I, I wasn't thinking anything. Uh, I wasn't deliberate to create the group. So, so, there's a distinction between creating the group and growing the group. Creating the group, we just wanted to eat barbecue in my house in Houston. One of my guys said, great group now. But it was supposed to be for like-minded folks that, you know, live abroad but have business locally, set up corporations and things like that. And 10 became 20. We got to our 80th member, informal, we just refer your friends, uh, before we had, had our first woman in the group. Wow. Uh, yes. I was like telling that. <laughs> wow. Because in networking too, you realize that a lot of it is a boys club. Mm. Um, in politics, you that's why so see, many women now. That, it's yeah. even easier for men. That's why you see in politics, mm -hmm. a lot of men are in it because the meetings are at night or there are places where not yeah. everyone is comfortable yeah. to be in. And so I always like telling that part because it's a journey. Um, so create was informal. Uh, grow, we said, okay, the name was called Niger Business Partners. We were like, please change this Raz name. <laughs> and so we got together, we branded the, the, the group. Um, we had a group of uh, initial uh, members called um, Governing Council that helped put things together. <clears throat> and when we saw that, you know, especially if you're in the diaspora, some of us, oh, Nigeria, Nigeria, I won't do this. A lot of people have gone, gotten burnt. They send money for car, to sell cars, and also they get burnt. And I just felt like the connection, because the way it started, a lot was a lot of my friends, a lot of some of the guys have started together, and then um, I've been doing business in Nigeria since 2016. This started like um, PBN started two and a half years ago, and um, because I, I knew a lot of people on ground too. I'm like, ah, I should start adding the folks on ground. So the people on ground just started adding their own friends on ground. Some other folks in diaspora, and people just started connecting. And I saw the real time how things were moving and it was contextual. The value stuff. was bringing. People, I had a member that has 4,000 goats, sold about 100 to a member. Wow. They sold goats yeah. to themselves, sold cars. They uh, launched business together. They've helped members launch business. A member has carried members to Calabar to go speak. Think of it. Members, literally, think of it. They've done it together. And we were like, this is something we need to formalize. So um, we just branded it and then standardized stuff, put code of conduct together, because it's very important to put infrastructure and structure in place, because things can happen. Privacy policy. We started to put all the structure in place. And which is why I, you know, especially for people that may be vulnerable, it's always good to be in an environment that you're protected. Mm. Which is why I advocate for people to join networks, communities, groups, because because they do a lot of the work, uh, half of the work for you. It's just now the people are there, you can connect and mingle with them. And so we just started to see a lot of success story, a lot of things. And I like it for me to do this. You know, we registered at a business locally, we registered at a business in, in the US. It's a proper community, community is a service. Um, it needs to be a paid group. Ah, people complain, I used to be from, like, you want us to put the infrastructure in place. You want us to grow and connect people. I, funny enough, I get embarrassed. All those things you're saying, it embarrasses me a lot because to me, I'm like, this is what I'm supposed to do. People are supposed to connect. It drives me crazy when people don't connect. It, it actually bothers me. So to me, it's something that it comes to you effortlessly, effortlessly, and makes me happy. Mm. So, in fact, I was the people that I do this because I'm selfish, mm. because I'm doing it because it makes me happy. Mm. Uh, I, I'm doing it because it's going to help you too and everything. But seeing people connect and extract value—that word value that I mentioned earlier—makes me happy. Mm. And I also feel like we increase our net worth collectively 
each time someone moves up, raise money, uh, does amazing numbers, um, gets appointed. Some of our members have gotten appointed with the government. Some members, one of our members, for example, just became an ED at a, one of the big commercial banks. You continue to grow, a lot of CEOs. The conference, we couldn't have pulled that conference up without the community. There, there, there was one panelist that couldn't show up, and the person I just went to tap and say, hey, you're going to speak, <laughs> is a big name in the tech ecosystem. No, I, I trust me, Ola Gadad, <laughs> in fact, <laughs> you know, like, name who and who that is in the tech industry, they were all there. Like, and not just and small businesses, massive businesses, unicorns, all of them, they were there. And it, it was quite interesting. Mm -hmm. And to think that you just did that out of, you know, something, the love that you have for, you know, people connecting, that was really amazing. So let me take a comment. It says, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Your guest is very intelligent. It says, um, <laughs> it says, and an interesting person. It says, the book Never Eat Alone is by Keith Ferrazzi. Yes, correct. And it says the book is very good. This is from Ade. Ade is watching us from the UK. Hi, Ade. Mm -hmm. Thank you for <laughs> your, um, NJ, have a comment. Good evening, my, uh, my dear beautiful sisters of What Are You Saying? Ways. Hashtag ways. Uh, leveraging networks to grow your business. To grow your business, we need two things. Number one, we need to introduce our businesses. That is creating awareness. And number two is the need to create relationship between two parties. A very strong one and look for a very mm. strong one and look for a way to keep in touch mm. after the relationship is built. According to my dear sister, Mwajaga, um, relationship is personal and professional. Nigeria needs to be admitted to Nigeria needs to be admitted to a hospital because we are sick. <laughs> that, I think he's like very he just, yeah. he just went, Daniel Ilo, you just went from here. Like he just went from here. Bro, yeah. bro, I said today I'm going to be a nice guy. Let's not <laughs> discuss that. Let's discuss what we personally can grow I, us. Can I finish this comment? <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to take that again. Go ahead. According to my dear beautiful sister, Mwa Jaga, relationship is personal and professional. Nigeria needs to be admitted to a hospital because we are sick. What is 25,000 allowance for doctors compared to what our ministers and governors go away with? And you are saying that they shouldn't, and you are saying that they shouldn't leave the country. I'm not in support of riding bicycles on the highways. It's very risky. <laughs> I want to bicycles be. are meant for the estate and nothing more. My name is Daniel Elo. <laughs> Ways regular fan. Thanks, Daniel. Daniel I will take a, a, what's her name, Mary to Todd Milanbridge. But we have one minute left. If you had one thing to say to anyone, you know, that is looking to probably change their circle, because I believe so, so strongly in your circle and how mm -hmm. it can impact the overall growth as a person, what would you say to that person? Well, <laughs> it's to ch if it to change their cycle or, or whatever it is expand. you want to say expand, expand. change whatever well, well this is what I'll say ultimately mm -hmm. and, and it's cliche but but it's true when they say close mouth don't get don't get fed speak up speak up as as straightforward and simple as it sounds speak up whether it's about not being able to sell or not being in the right network speak up to people around you. Because most, more than likely, someone may be able to point you to the right direction. Um, I've always been a, a proponent of people speaking up and saying things however you feel. You hide under a mask, you're the only one that has that problem. You die alone. You die alone. Speak up. Um, you notice even at the, the theme of the conference, you see people connecting and, and speaking up and saying the things they need. So speak up. Mm. Thank you so much for that. Thank you, Mary. You had one thing to say? No. <laughs> Mary is quiet. We want to send that to Todd Milam. <laughs> but thank you. I'm going to buy my bike. You're going to buy your bike? Okay. 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 I'll you should actually join the Bikers Club. I have yeah. a friend there. Yeah, they, they, they ride from, um, from VI. They go all the way to, <laughs> <laughs> to <laughs> International <laughs> Airport. No, they wow. have to get all the gear. You have everything. to. I don't think it's that one. I think she means the end. No, she we do cooler. bikers club. I will join her there. So, but thank you so much, Bola. Uh, I am looking forward to joining the Premier Business Network. Uh, not because 
uh, Alera is coercing me to, but I, again, because I actually saw the value, uh, and I think it's, it's actually, an, I, I'm not a network person, I'm not a community person, I run away from all those things, but I believe in you know what you're doing, and I think more people should actually join the Premier Business. It's, it's different, you see. It is actually, it is. <laughs> it's different, you It see. is, trust me. Ah, I've seen things. I know you That's have. That's how they run away from I know you have. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you so much, it's been an amazing time, you know, talking with you. Now, before we go, thank you ladies. Thank you, Mary. Thank you, NJ. Before we go, ensure you follow us across all our social media handles at Waysho Africa. You can interact with us further, drop a comment, and more importantly, follow all our engagements on social media, like, share, and invite your families and friends to watch and follow the conversation. Now, if you missed our quote for today, here it is again. Networking is an investment in your business, and it takes time, and when done correctly, can yield results for years to come. We'll see you guys live on Monday at 8 p.m. as we bring another great conversation to your screens. Ciao. Bye. Thank you.